Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Gian and welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna do another mukbang. Huh? So, as you can see in my title, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna eat today. And that is... Ta-da! Filipino spaghetti that I cooked myself. And I'm so proud. So what we have here is a sweet and sour Filipino spaghetti that is not your typical spaghetti because it's sweet and sour. And for this, I used the Filipino spaghetti sauce, ground pork instead of beef, a red hot dog because that's what we have in the Philippines, and garlic cheese bread that I just cut up and I got a drink. So spaghetti is not complete without cheese topping and you can either use parmesan but my preference any cheddar cheese so i don't have the just the cheddar cheese i have a triple cheese here so this is what i'm gonna use and i grew up uh having um cheddar cheese <laughs> i grew up having cheddar cheese on my spaghetti because that's what my mom used so it's a lot put a lot of um, cheese because why not who doesn't love cheese right so it looks like with cheese on top mm, yeah. so pretty Philipp so pretty sweet and sour Filipino spaghetti honey I haven't started my video yet and I already made a mess so let's clean it up a little I haven't had any food today and it's already like 2.30 and yeah so growing up so I'm just gonna give you a little background about uh, Filipino spaghetti so I grew up having this spaghetti and actually when I was a kid we don't really use like a spaghetti sauce so what my mom do was she used canned tomato sauce and then she combined it with banana ketchup and then put a little sugar in it salt and pepper and maybe chicken cubes or chicken flavoring level of sweetness is really up to you if you want it a little, little more uh, sweet add more sugar if not then less sugar so <coughs> so hungry Hi. let's eat this so actually uh, when I was a kid we don't usually do this kind of spaghetti where you top where, where you put the spaghetti sauce on top of the cooked spaghetti uh, we usually like um, put the pasta on a simmering sauce and then mix them together so you know uh, all the pasta is um, covered in spaghetti sauce so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna mix them all together so I'll get like a even coating of the sauce and all its flavor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, smells so good. I am I am already salivating. I'm so hungry. All right, so here's my first bite. Eat the Hmm. I miss that flavor. I really miss that sweet and sour taste. Look at that red hot dog. Mm. 
it's okay to get messy when you're eating spaghetti especially when you're eating it by yourself at home it's okay not a big deal Still warm, still hot, actually. I just cook this so. all. Mm. I miss the red hot dog. Really miss this. I grew up eating red hot dog. My drink is sponsored by Starbucks. It's a very, very high viscous tea. Happy late April Fool's Day. No, it's not sponsored. Who am I to get sponsorship? So Filipino spaghetti is not for everyone, especially if you never had this before and you're, and you're used to Italian spaghetti or American spaghetti, you may find this like, you know, tastes kind of weird because it's sweet, but if you're a Filipino and you're watching this, you totally understand me. Totally. You exactly know how this spaghetti tastes. It tastes like Jollibee spaghetti! So if you never make uh, Filipino spaghetti before and you know Jollibee, that's how it tastes like. finish with this.
Yes, bye. Craving satisfied. <gasps> Get your breadsticks. And then... I'm not gonna waste this sauce. This is so good to waste. Bottoms up, bottoms up. <coughs> I haven't made this for a year now. Um, the last time I had was a spaghetti from Jollibee, but homemade is still different. I think that it's it's more delicious for me because I seasoned it according to my taste, so I really like it. But that's all for today and I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do please give it a like and comment down below and I want to hear from you guys what you want me to eat on my next video so put it in the comment down below and really appreciate that so thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one I love you so much bye Peter.